All right, everybody, welcome back to our channel, Smishek's Custom Baits. Uh, this is Rick Smishek. Uh, today we're going to be working with a couple of new molds we have. Um, our poor staffer doesn't know we have these yet, so he'll, he'll be, when he sees the video, then he'll know. Um, let me check this. we got some hot plastics all in the microwave already. Um, what it is is we have a, uh, it's like a Rage Menace, I believe it's like a, a sort of a Rage Menace grub, um, and then also a, a frog. It's uh, an inch and three quarters long. For well, pretty much, from what I understand, pretty much anything eats it. But it's really, really good for uh, like bluegill and crappie. Um, some guys say that they're amazed that the bluegill can even get this stupid thing in their mouth, um, which I would be too if I saw that. Check this real quick. Okay, it's not quite hot enough. Um, let's go ahead and uh, you know what? I'm going to 25 seconds. There you go. And while, we, while that's, that should be finishing up, um, here's our frog. We got a little bitty frog mold, okay? Four cavity. Shoots like a dream so far. We've already shot this off camera. Uh, we'll show you at the end of making this stuff, we'll show you exactly what they what we made already for a pro staff guide. And here's the other, here's the other uh, mold or grub, okay? And we'll be shooting this as well. And we're going to be shooting it in color, one of our house colors, called Pumpkin Spice. Now, when I came up with the name for this color, I didn't realize that Zoom Baits also had a Pumpkin Spice color. So, uh, I guess Zoom's just going to have to live with that. <laughs> I mean, how many colors does Zoom have? I can't have a couple? Yeah. No, that's all right. We can do this. Pumpkin Spice isn't a name that anybody really owns. But mine looks different from theirs too, so. All right, let's check the temp on this. We have to hit conversion temperature. And we did, 370, 20 degrees over. All right. This was one of my first inventions as far as the different colors go. And this one kind of stinks today. It's, I'm gonna move that back here a little bit closer. Um, let's go ahead and put this green pumpkin color in first. Pour a little bit of that in, stir it in. And you can usually tell when if it's by the knife, what, what it looks like on the knife, whether or not it's stirred in. You, you'll see the color, the dark streaks in it. Um, Next, we need some orange highlight powder. And these powders, you really have to mix them in well. You really have to give them a good stir to get them mixed in. So, nope, let's go ahead and cover that up and put the lid on so we don't spill it. There. By the time we get this mixed in, the, the temperature should be low enough to where it won't uh, where it won't uh, curl the glitter. For whatever reason, stirring it and mixing it like this really drops the temperature. We're going to double check it because I don't want to. All right, there we go. We've dropped 50 degrees just that little bit of time. Okay. And okay, we're going to put in two different sizes of orange glitter full scoop of each size and let's give this a stir make sure it doesn't curl on the surface okay that's looking pretty good already but we need this other size too I gave away some baits in this color over at Quincy Reservoir one day and uh, 10 minutes after I gave this guy some of these lures he was hollering at me, holding up a fish. So I went over and took a picture. <laughs> Ten minutes later, I caught a fish. Um, the first time I caught a fish out of the refuge, out of the National Wildlife Refuge uh, here in Denver, um, it was uh, it was this color. 
This is a bait in this car. A little bitty bait, caught about a nine, eight, nine inch bass on it. I was, I was surprised I caught a bass on it, but because it's such a small bait, but it was a small bass too. <laughs> so, all right. I think we're doing pretty good here. I want to up the temperature just a little bit. Let's double check it real quick. Uh, we're down to 300 already, so we, we need to be around 320. So we'll do about 25 seconds here, and that should be good enough. Um, don't get rid of it. Just step away. All right. I like to keep my work area clean. This way, and this way, I know where to find stuff. Um, if I always put it back, not everybody does that. <laughs> My dad never used to do that. He'd tell us, he'd tell us where to find a, tell me where to find a socket, which drawer in his toolbox. But it was never there because he didn't put the damn thing back when he was done using it. And of course, I would, he'd be yelling at me because I couldn't find it. Well, Dweeb, if you put it away, well, you know. <laughs> but that was my dad. Okay. Let's check the temperature again. Should be okay. Okay, we're 325. Right in the ballpark where we want to be. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot both these molds. Suck up the plastic. Go some frog first. Fill the mold. Hold the pressure. And it's funny how you can tell exactly when the mold is full. But when you're ready to push it on. And I'm being a little messy here today too. Oops. Hold the pressure. Okay. Up it comes. Alright. Um, oops, I need to top this one off. Alright, there we go. Okay. There's that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and dump this old remelt in there. I'm going to go ahead and start remelting this stuff. Um, so I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make a few of these for him. Up there, and uh, I've made several different colors of stuff. I'll show you that here in just a couple minutes. Get this stuff over here so I can reuse it. Okay, pull that off. Get this crap off the side. There we go. And let's go and open up the frogs. The frogs cool off really quick, and so we can open that up almost immediately. They're pretty small. And then after we pull these guys out, we'll go ahead and open up the, the grubs. And we'll see how they look. All right, look at that. We're gonna go ahead and, now this guy here, the guy that makes these molds, he is slowly reworking the gates on his base so that we don't have to snip I mean, on these different molds, so we don't have to snip the, the gates off on the, like these frogs here, okay? But here we go. Poor little frogs. How about that, huh? Little bitty baits. For, for, for panfish, bass will eat them. All right, just put them on a little jig head. Like a 16th ounce or maybe an 8th ounce jig head. Um, you might, depending on the fishing conditions, you might even be able to go smaller, a smaller jig head. Um, just use those. Use some jig heads and fish them and have a good time catching the fish. Okay, here we go. This is almost done too. Well, not almost. This is there. Oh boy, pardon me. I hope nobody heard that. <laughs> All right, let's get this going again. While we're doing this, I'm waiting here. I don't have 30 seconds on it. Go ahead and put the grub mold. Here's our new baits. 
Okay. Now this one has a little extra piece right here, but that's because we can do core shots with this mold. Okay. So I can put the rods in. These are the rods that go with it. We just we can just put the core, uh, the rods in, and then we can do core shots. This is a pretty sweet mold. Um, we're going to be able to. Um, do all sorts of things with this, and, and we'll be seeing you guys will be seeing this mold a lot more often. Well, not maybe not a lot more often, but you'll be seeing it again um, in the future because we're going to do core shots with it, we can do laminates with it, we can do just about anything we want with this mold. Um, man, these baits look awesome. This mold just shoots like a dream, it's from Angling AI, and uh, I don't think I've had a defective bait yet. I've shot it. I don't know, 15 times or so right now already. I haven't had a defective bait yet. It's a pretty nice mold. Um, Josh Clark there, Angling AI, he does a good job with his molds, design them, making them. Um, let's go ahead and show you, while we're waiting here, let's go ahead and show you the, uh, the other things that I've made. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna show you what we've already done off camera. We've made, we've made stuff in Green Pumpkin. Um, we've made baits, in, uh, I've done one shot of each of the in each color of the little frogs. Our pro staffer didn't seem too thrilled about the frogs, but we're going to give them a shot of each of them in each color, anyways. Um, over here, these are colors that doesn't ask for much. It doesn't ask for the for the grapevine a whole lot or the or the party animal Joe. So I've just done one shot on each uh, uh, of in each mold of each color. Um, then he really likes. This is the color that he likes. It's called watermelon candy. I've done a few shots of each of the of the, of the grubs, and again, just one of the, on the on the uh, on the frogs. I've done the exact same thing here with with uh, this color here called Charlie Special. Um, he really likes this color, and uh, so I've just I'm not making too many of any of the baits because we have to make sure he likes the bait too. So, um, so this is what we're doing with these two molds, and. Uh, Hopefully, our pro staff guy likes these baits, and uh, hope, let's hope they catch a lot of fish for them, right? So, uh, you got to take, today you got to see how we make our pumpkin spice. You got to see a couple new molds. Um, and we want to talk about this bag of sample baits here. My bad, I've been doing this all wrong. It's not going to be our 50th subscriber that gets these. When we get to 50 subscribers, we're going to do a random drawing. That's what I meant to be saying all along, and I was screwing it up. My apologies. But that's what we're going to do. We get this bag, this bag of, 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 of samples. Um, uh, once we get to 50, 50 subscribers, somebody that's going to get this. We'll just go online. They have, a, uh, they have various websites where you can go to and, and do a random drawing for, for, for this sort of thing. So that's what we're going to do. But we want to encourage people to, to sign up we, you know, before, and we don't want it just to be just that 50th guy and everybody waiting to get the, get the bag of base. So... Um, so that's what we're doing with that. That's a little change there. Hopefully everybody understands on it. And uh, if you like what you saw today, hit the like button, hit subscribe, share, if you like your mom said, share with your friends, share with everybody, right? And um, if you have any comments or suggestions, go ahead and put them down below. Ask me questions uh, about, about the molds or, or the baits or whatever. I'd be happy to answer. Um, if you have ideas for, 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 for things you'd like to see me do a video on, Go ahead, let me know that too. Um, but until next time, as always, tight lines and calm waters.